Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 9th of May comes to you from London. And we start by looking at currencies. The dollar recovering quite strongly and uh, it's back up through the cloud. We're at uh, 99.30. Uh, quite interesting after that French election result. This is almost a bit like a relief rally um, where the picture couldn't get much better. So the dollar just recovering, but no clear upside targets here on the chart. So that's quite key. Looking at the euro, we're seeing here that it's falling away. So of course the euro dollar is doing um, the reverse of that dollar index. Japanese yen, um, dollar is looking very strong here. So it's all about dollar strength at the moment. And sterling is just holding on to its position. So um, we've got a target here of 132.96. And this 132 target has been here for since January. So sterling just pushing for that. Um, but still quite a lot of downside targets there. Looking at the uh, Euro sterling rate, we see sterling's got the upper hand, euro falling away. Sterling Swiss again, euro has got the upper hand, increasing to 129. And the Aussie dollar really is showing its weakness against sterling here at 176. US stock market last night just uh, holding on to its gains, but uh, just struggling to really get through uh, this level again. So that's uh, quite key. And the NASDAQ just um, fairly static as well. Dow Jones um, struggling to make new highs and the same with the Russell 2000 it's just uh, holding on. The US market's generally looking pretty strong medium to long term just short term struggling to break through resistance. Uh, the futures this morning we see the Nasdaq E-mini um, just very slightly up but no real heads up as to which way the market will open. The FTSE 100 index um, we are bullish above the cloud so bullish on all three time frames and the 250 uh, we're seeing that as well. Uh, the DAX uh, also looking bullish above the cloud on all three time frames and a new 6% upside target there in the short term so um, the DAX really powering ahead. The Nikkei also was very bullish yesterday um, and just at today's session holding on to those gains so bullish on all three time frames as is the Hang Seng bullish above the clouds and the Shanghai index just still a bit worrying um, having fallen below the medium term chart just Chinese equities on the local market not looking so strong at all. Uh, the Indian market just holding on to its gains, looking strong in the medium and long term, but short term we're just uh, flat. And the Australian index just falling away a little bit there. Um, so Aussie dollar weakness just maybe having a little bit of an effect. Brent crude coming back through the cloud, but of course still below this $50 mark. The fact that we've taken out this low and held it for a few days now does suggest that we're going to see the seasonal effect kick in and Brent fall away for the rest of the year. And WTI, much the same picture, just coming through on the cloud. We do have some upside targets here, um, so it might see we might see a little bit of recovery. But it's it's a fall away, a smaller uh, recovery, a bigger fall away, smaller recovery. So the down moves tend to be bigger than the up moves now on this chart. U.S. NAC gas just holding at around 320. Seems to have been at 320 for quite some time now. Um, so that's quite key as well. Gold uh, has really fallen and is just teetering along the bottom at these about 1230 level. So it'd be interesting to see if we can put in a recovery. We have activated this downside target now of 1146. So that is a little bit worrying on the short term chart. So watch for any new targets developing there. And silver uh, looking similarly bearish, but no clear downside targets. US 10-year Treasury yields sitting at 2.4% and uh, Apple um, we're seeing here um, is uh, bullish above the cloud. Google um, we're seeing much the same thing just all the tech stocks holding on to their gains. Amazon had a strong day yesterday just struggling to break uh, the high of last week. Facebook again much the same picture but looking very bullish in the medium and long term and Microsoft again we're seeing that upside. We do have downside targets get, being activated but a big upside target here of 9%. Just tech stocks generally powering ahead. Key thing at the moment is just keep an eye on what this dollar does. That's it for today until tomorrow Happy charting. See you then.